Rogers was last year's National Player of the Year. Yeah, great player for UConn. Uh, we haven't had sound off for a month. And Andy Fails thinks that's turned out even worse than expected. After three weeks of know what's bugging Andy, I'm as backed up as a grizzly bear that's eating a block of cheese. There's a lot of stuff in here. But I can't move on until I address the thing that's got us all so backed up to begin with. The Olympics that we just witnessed, or that some of us witnessed. They were the least watched Olympics of all time. But we thought that the Tokyo Games were bad, and they were, well, Beijing was worse. While it's hard to figure out just what the ever-evolving American television audience wants to watch, it's not hard to figure out why it didn't want to watch these Olympics. It's so simple, it's maddening, in fact. And the reasons begin, end, and are riddled throughout with China. These games were strangled and sterilized by COVID. And although no games held this winter could have been free from COVID protocols, the fact that they were being applied to the 10th degree by the country where the virus started made things worse. American athletes didn't do very well in these games. Not Sean White, not Michaela Schifrin, really only Eileen Gu, but then she was competing for China. Live sports are one of the few pieces of TV programming still thriving today. People don't like to watch them after they've already happened or know the result. But all that goes out the window when the Olympics are held way over in Tokyo or Pyongyang or Sydney or China. And finally, the Olympics are supposed to be a chance for a country to shine, to show off its people. Well, we don't like what China has done to its people. China is not popular with planet Earth these days. We don't want to cheer for it or even in it, at least not right now. The single best reason I heard for these games to be held in China was that it wouldn't be fair for the athletes to cancel them. Well, in my opinion, taking something that happened too soon, too far away, without fans, in lockdown conditions, in a place that no one wanted to go, that no one wanted to watch, and expecting it to feel like the Olympics, that is the definition of unfair. I'm Andy Fails, and that's what's bugging me.